Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do solving quadratic inequalities. So I hope na matutunan nyo yung topic na ito kasi medyo complicated siya but throughout this video, gagawin natin easy yung ating life when it comes to this topic. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Salamat! Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do solving quadratic inequalities. So right now, we have here a single example that we're gonna discuss and I will show you the step-by-step -step process on how to solve a quadratic inequality. So keep on watching and try to finish this video and papakita ko sa inyo yung step-by-step -step process on how to do it. So I have here solve x squared plus 3x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. And kung mapansin nyo, I have simplified the different steps on how to solve this inequality. So meron lang akong 3. Number 1, we have here, convert the inequality into an equation. Next, number two, find the solution of the equation. Third step is to make a number line, check each solution and interval. So let's move on to the first step or let's go to the first step of this process. So we have here, x squared plus 3x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. So the first step is that we have to convert the inequality into an equation. This one is the easiest step among the three of them. So ang gabi mo lang dito is you need to change the equality symbol into an equal sign. So ang mangyari dyan, you will have the equation x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0. So after this, okay na. Sabi dyan, number 2, find the solution of the equation. Since you already have a quadratic equation, there are different ways on how to solve this equation. You can do factoring, you can do completing the square, and you can also use the quadratic formula. But in this case, x squared plus 3x minus 10 is equal to 0 is a factorable equation. So we can factor out this equation. So we need to find the factors of negative 10 that when you add them, their sum is equal to 3. So I think the factors are x plus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Check that then. You have here 5 times negative 2 that will give you negative 10. And then 5 plus negative 2 that will give you positive 3. So that's it. These are the factors of the equation. Pero, ang sabi sa step number 2, find the solution of the equation. So solving this using zero product property, you can have x plus 5 is equal to 0. And the other one is x minus 2 is equal to 0. So solving for the value of x, we have here x is equal to negative 5 and the other one is x is equal to 2. These are the values of x or these are the solutions of the given equation. What is the purpose of negative 5 and 2? So don't, don't see it that now we are done with the process because we're not yet done and hindi pa natin nakakuha yung mismong values ng x or ng solution ng ating inequality. Ito mga to, ito yung tinatawag nating critical points. So these are the critical points. Your negative 5 and 2 are the critical points. So ang next step natin dito is to make a number line. So step number 3 na tayo. So i-move natin pataas lang ng konti. And then, let's create a number line. So, number line. And then, yung negative 5 and 2 natin, ay ilalagay natin sa ating number line. Basically, yung negative 5 is located here at the left side of the number line. And then, yung ating 2 ay dito sa right side. Yan. So, hindi nyo na kailangan damihan pa yung numbers. So, okay na sa, sa atin yung ano, ilagay natin yung critical numbers which is negative 5 and 2. So, now, 
basically after you tried to ano to put negative 5 and 2 sa ating number line you need to check whether the critical points negative 5 and 2 are included with the solution of the given inequality so try natin so kung gagawin natin kukunin natin tong equation na to itong original inequality dito so you have x squared plus 3x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0 and ito yung ginagawa para malaman if yung negative 5 may negative 2 are included with the solution. So, your x is equal to negative 5 and then sub substitute lang natin siya magiging negative 5 squared plus 3 times negative 5 minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. So, we have here 25 minus 15 minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. And simplifying the left side of the inequality, you can get negative 25 plus 25. You can have 0 that is greater than or equal to 0. In which, kung mapansin nyo, 0 is greater than or equal to 0. That is a true inequality. Therefore, if true yung statement na yan, you will be using a solid circle. Yan, gamit yung solid circle or shaded circle. Again, ang ibig sabihin nitong solid circle is that yung ating negative 5 is included sa ating solution. Yan, shade natin siya. And then, let's move on to item number 2 or the second critical point. You have here x is equal to positive 2. I-check natin if 2 is included with the solutions of the given inequality. So you have 2 squared. Sinapshoot natin yung 2 sa ating inequality. Plus 3 times 2 minus 10. It's greater than or equal to 0. This is 4 plus 6 minus 10. And then, as you can see, pag pinagsama-sama natin sila, you can get 0 is greater than or equal to 0. So, this one is a true statement. Therefore, maglalagay rin tayo dito ng shaded circle or solid circle. And we will be using a different color. Now, sir, what if the critical point is not included and the statement is false? Siyempre, ang gagamitin mo yung open circle. Okay? So, after that, di ba, kung babay ka natin steps natin, sabi dito, make a number line, we're done with this, check its solution and interval. So, ang gagawin mo rito ngayon, since we're done checking if the critical points are included, ang gagawin natin ngayon is, we need to select a single number in each region of the number line. So, explain ko lang ha. As you can see, we have here three regions. Ito. First region na ito. Simula dito hanggang dito. And then, yung second region natin, ito. Simula dito hanggang dito. And then, the third region is this one. Ngayon, kailangan natin kumuha ng ng tag number coming from this, this different regions at ang tawag natin doon ay test points again, we need to find test points so burayin ko lang ito para mas hindi kayo malita we need to find a test point Yan. so in this area I'm gonna choose negative 6. So, piling ko dito, x is equal to negative 6 sa left side. And then, in the middle region, I'm gonna choose x is equal to 0. And then, in this region, I'm gonna use x is equal to 3. Now, the purpose of this test points, again, the so-called test points, they will serve as the representative of each region. Let's say, for example, 
uh, nakuha natin na true statement yung negative 6. Therefore, the entire number here on in the left side of the region are included with the solution. So, ganun yung ating test point. So, paano ba natin malaman if the test points are included with the solution? So, first, you need to use the original equation, or the, the inequality, rather, x squared plus 3x minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. So, the first one is x is equal to negative 6. So, we're, we're going to use x is equal to negative 6. So, we have negative 6 squared plus 3 times negative 6. Again, sinastitute ko lang yung negative 6 sa ating original inequality. Minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. So, nagawa tayong separation dito. And then, you have here 36 minus 18 minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. So, pag sinimplify natin to, this is 36 minus 28, right? Is greater than or equal to 0. And then simplifying the left side of the inequality, you can get 8 is greater than or equal to 0. So, check natin if it's true or false. So, as you can see, 8 is greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, this is a true statement. Ibig sabihin niyan, this entire part of the number line or the numbers in that part of the number line or region is included sa solution ng ating inequality. So, let's move on to the third one. At the second test point, we have 0. So, you have 0 squared plus 3 times 0 minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. So, this is 0 plus 0, negative 10. So, as you can see, negative 10 is greater than or equal to 0, in which this is a false statement. Ibig sabihin yan, this part is not included with the solution of the inequality. So, we're gonna erase this one. Okay. Next, let's try the third one. If x is equal to 3, we have 3 squared plus 3 times 3 minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. This is 9 plus 9 and then it will be 18 minus 10 is greater than or equal to 0. That is 8 greater than or equal to 0 and in which this one is a true statement. So ngayon, ang ibig sabihin niyan, this part of the number line is included with the solution of the inequality. Since we are done with the test points, kailangan natin kunin yung solutions. So we need to erase this. Erase muna natin to. So, in terms of our solution, isulat natin siya into interval notation. So, we have the solutions sa interval notation. So, kung mapansin nyo, yung mga numbers na included sa ating solution ay yung mga numbers na negative papunta rito sa part na to. So, infinity yan. So, kapag infinity, ang laging katabi yung infinity is open parenthesis or parenthesis. So, we have negative infinity. And then, copy this first test, uh, critical value. We have negative 5. And since yung ating negative 5 is included sa solution, you will be using bracket. Pero kung hindi naman siya included or siya isang open circle, ang gagamitin may parenthesis. And then, after that, union. And then, look at the next critical value or critical point. We have 2 which is included din siya sa ating solution. 
Nagamit ka ngayon ng bracket and then 2. And as you can see, itong part na to ng ating solution ay yung mga positive number na infinity papunta sa kanan. Therefore, you will be using an infinity. And sabi ko kanina, ang laging kasama ng infinity ay itong parenthesis. So, review lang muna natin ha. Dito, kaya tayo mayroong infinity kasi infinite yung movement ng ating solutions so papunta sa left side. So, we have negative infinity and then you will be using parenthesis and then bata gumamit ng bracket because negative 5 is included and then you will be using the symbol union so we have bracket because 2 is included and then dito positive yung movement ng ating solutions which is infinity and then again at the end yung kasama ng ating infinity is always a parenthesis so I hope na matutunan, natutunan nyo yung ating tutorial today about solving quadratic inequalities, different steps on how to do it, and then kung paano isulat yung kanyang solutions in interval notation. Sa next video natin, I will show you another example on how to solve quadratic inequality, pero much complicated na siya ng konti. And then I will try to do it sa mas madaling paraan. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.